Up next, an up-close look at Mark Knopfler with questions from the AOL audience. Hello, this is Mark Knopfler. You're watching Sessions at AOL. Mark Knopfler first came to prominence as lead singer, guitarist, and songwriter for Dire Straits, a band best known for its mock treatment of the music video form on their 1985 global hit single, Money for Nothing. Knopfler also had success composing film scores and with a country-flavored side project called The Nodding Hillbillies. He launched a solo career in 1996 that continues with his latest release, The Ragpicker's Dream. A fan from the AOL audience wanted to know if, after all these years, he still finds time to practice. Um, I'm actually a, a pretty lazy uh, character by uh, nature. Uh, you know, I'm very good at lying flat on the sofa and not doing a lot at all. I, d I do nothing very well. Um, and uh, I'm good at goofing off, you know. I mean, so what I try to do now, I just try to get a little bit more practice than I used to, just because I try to respect what little talent I've got now. You know, I've gone in the past, I may have, you know, been a lot more relaxed about it and um, not paid as much attention to it, you know, and just try to... Uh, but I think uh, I've got a better attitude towards it now. Another thing he's gotten better at is talking about the legacy of his former band, Dire Straits probably due in part to the fact that the band reunited recently to raise money for charity. It's great fun and, and just a really nice thing to visit. So, um, a nice place to visit. So, I could see it happening now and again for charity because it's always... It's great doing things. You, to use the, the strength of the name to, to do things for charity and it makes you feel halfway useful. Knopfler went on to reflect on the massive success of Dire Straits. Well, I'd recommend success to anybody. You know, I think uh, uh, it, we, we just had picked the ball up and were running with it, and uh, maybe not always in the right direction. Uh, you make all your mistakes in public, you know. The fact that he feels the band made mistakes might explain why he finds it difficult to listen to the records he's made. It's not something that uh, that 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 I ever, you know, I ever. I ever would do. I suppose because when you're making them, you're listening to them so much, especially if they're around, the, around the, just at the end, the mastering. You know, you, you hear them a lot. And, but it's great to play them live, you know, and bring something else to them and, and everything. And I really enjoy playing the old songs a lot, you know, because they're like signposts for people's lives. It's amazing what people tell you. I, th I think there's the last record, the, this Ragpicker's Dream record, I can, I can put up with because I'm getting closer to... Um, being able, to, you know, just in, a, in, a, in a, I think in terms of audio, learning a little bit more about how to make the kind of record I want to make. Another fan wanted to know the inspiration behind one of Dire Straits' best-known songs, Romeo and Juliet. When uh, you've been unlucky in love, you know, it happens to everybody at a certain stage in their young life, you know, when you're young. And how... how uh, you know, you feel like telling a kid when it's happening to them. You feel like telling them, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna pass. You know, you, you're not gonna feel like this forever. Don't worry about it so much. And the 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 Romeo character in, in always struck me as being sort of, although it was tragic and your heart's breaking for him, you know, but it's uh, it's kind of something amusing about it because it makes him kind of ridiculous. And so that's the thing that that got me going on that. The fact that it was almost funny, you know. Given the times we live in, we asked if he felt compelled at all to express his own politics in any way. The cover of The Ragpicker's Dream, to me, you know, underlines... I mean, I love that picture, and it seems to me to... You know, at, at this time, more than ever, it's more important to underline the... Uh, to emphasize what's really important in life, you know, which is two people a kind of togetherness, you know, and the kitchen represents all that, I think, you know, um, in, a, in a home. And I'm the struggle to survive and the struggle to live and the struggle to love, which is what I'm interested in writing about. And that seems to me that's all that there is to write about. What else can you write about? Mark Knopfler. Look for the new release, The Ragpicker's Dream, from Warner Brothers Record.